Hello guys and welcome to another David Zamalat. In today's video, I want to show you how to rebuild a Chrysler alternator. This is a Chrysler 300 alternator. It's been made in Japan. It's like a Denso, but it's made in Japan. Um, and I'm going to show you exactly how to rebuild everything about it. We're going to take it apart. I'm going to show you what's inside. Guys, very easy to rebuild these things. Um, all you have to do is like get a kit online and I'm going to include a link to one of the rebuild kits online, but we're gonna go ahead and actually rebuild it in this video, so stay tuned. Uh, by the way, guys, it's the same alternate that's been used in Chrysler 300 2.7 liter engine. This happened to come out at a 3.5 liter, also the V8 models. It's possibly the same one, but even if it's not, it's going to be the same way to actually rebuild it. So let's go. video we will be disassembling this alternator it stopped working on me on my Chrysler 300 a 3.5 liter diesel I mean 3.5 liter it's not a diesel it's a gas uh, the 2.7 liter has exactly the same type of alternator so this alternator has almost a hundred thousand miles typically they should not fail um, at this type of low mileage but this one did obviously uh, even though it's made in Japan it's supposed to be a good one so I want to take it apart and see what's inside and see well see what went wrong with it I have rebuilt these in the past uh, not from this this model but like uh, a Honda ones and Nissan ones I rebuilt them just get a brush kit on eBay it's fairly cheap and you'll have to look it up according to your model number and stuff but we're going to begin by disassembling this uh, bolts over here in the back and then we're gonna move into disassembling those and then it's just gonna pretty much come apart so let's get begin started by trying to find uh, the right socket looks like it needs kind of like a deep socket over here so I may have to use like a, a standard socket from my my toolkit but sometimes I could find a, the good one that works, like that one. So we're gonna put that there. Here. Right there. sure if this needs to come out nope it doesn't so just appeared to me that it's not removing so as you can see very simple design we'll just have to now remove that 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 right there so see if it's, the same. Uh, it's not the same like none of these would work I'm surprised like it seems like that's a correct one yet it doesn't want to fit like the clearance over here is just it's just way too small but this does fit Well, I don't want to mess things up. I may have to just go with, with like a Phillips head. Okay, we got one that fits. Good. Once I could get couple of them that fits good 
and this is just no problem at all. So these are just kind of long. So this is out. So now it should technically come out, but we have to be observative and make sure there's nothing else holding it. 24. 24 is a little loose, but I bet I could use it to remove it. We need to prevent that from happening. Okay, that done it. Okay. It's just like they've been on there for a while and that's why things just don't wanna remove. There's always one that's going to be stuck on you, you just can't. I did it. These are even smaller. So we have this, this here. It has magnets on the inside, so it's obvious to me that this is the portion that I got to replace. Wow, it's just this. So if I would have taken that apart, just a plastic cover, I don't even have to do all that other stuff that I just did. This is even easier. So these are the magnets right here that do the job. Um, it's a challenge a lot of times putting them in because you need to have them somehow locked up. So one way to do it is you see this little hole right here you just need something very tiny you insert it and it it's going to hold them back because installing like this is just not going to work so we installed it this far so let's see we could remove this um this is another piece that fails on them and if this fails, then of course, even if the magnet is good, then it's not working. So the rebuild kit should have both of these things. So it's as simple as putting that in. And then of course you need to depress the magnets and install it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna reinstall some of these little bolts. Like for instance, like this thing. I'm just gonna install it here. I don't want it to get lost. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for for these. So it's like I already just rebuilt it. I'm putting everything back. And I'm gonna show you how to press that magnet piece in to try to fix it. So technically this one, I really don't want to put it in too far because this this bolt this bolt or screw it's a little bit messed up. So now uh, we need to just put that there like that. 
we need to align this together like this not that it matters but you can just put that like that you need to put this back make sure it sits there and then of course you have to put the bolt back so the cool thing about it is that locking it up is a lot easier than removing The only thing that's not cool, having the wrong tool, it slips a little bit and um, it creates a problem for me. I have to now yeah, I have to make sure it's aligned. Well, I'm just gonna pull this out. And what I'm going to have to do is just bang it out like that. So now I need to go on eBay and search for this piece. Because once I replace it, there's the two screws I need. That's done. And then I just replace this very top here. Like that. You know, and it's going to be, it's going to be good. So I need these two because you don't know which one of these one bad, either the magnets or that piece. So hopefully the kit has both and uh, they should not be expensive at all. They're going to be a lot cheaper than an alternator. So this is why, you know, whenever your alternator fails, they want you to um, trade yours in and then that's how they're going to replace it and, you know, rebuild it. But they're going to do... A lot more to it. They're gonna really clean this thing up and it's just gonna look like it's brand new again at the factory. But if they wanted to, they could just simply do this and that's it. Or like a, a alternator repair shop. This is all they could do. But anyways, I'm gonna find something tiny to stick in here and lock and that's up. That's actually how it locks it up. So I need a tool, perhaps like like this tiny screwdriver. But it needs to be flat enough to go all the way through find that other piece I do want to show you that you know we're gonna go ahead and install these these bolts back we're just gonna use a Phillips this time because you can use it so you want to make sure you line it up first which I did last time and just install that that way it pulls it all together My name is Serge Zamaleta. I'm 37 years old. And yes, I experienced success after buying my first home for cash. Back in 2011, I was broke, but I learned to solve problems on my own. Now I'm helping others to solve their problems. I know what pitfalls to avoid to stay profitable in business. Need motivation to be more successful in your life? Do you have Sprinter expedite their business problems? Then subscribe. Let's find creative solutions to your problems. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my helpful videos.